In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a VDSL router. Specifically in this video, the TP-Link Archer VR600 or the AC1600. I'm going to get it unboxed, show you what comes with it, how to plug it in, and then I'm going to go on the computer and I'll walk you through the menu system and how to get it started. So first up, I'm going to install the Wi-Fi antenna on the back. You just screw them in. A lot of routers come with these pre-installed or come with them built in. This one specifically comes with three that you have to screw on the back, really easy. Then you can angle them all upwards. There's probably an optimal position for those, but I couldn't tell you what it is. Right then, just to make things more awkward to film than they probably should be, I'm installing this router underneath my telly. Basically, there's three things we'll plug into this. First, the RJ11 cable. That's the little cable that comes with the router. That plugs from your router in this port here to the wall socket. Preferably your master socket. Next you will have any network cables you want to connect. So this could go straight to your computer or it could go to a television or a games console or anything like that. Anything with a wired connection needs to plug into the back of here. And finally, you've got the power. Once you've got the cables looking all neat, or in my case jammed down behind the television where no one can see them, you need to press the power button. Turn the power on, in this case on the left hand side with a little button. Then you will see the power lights come on, the lights start to flash on top. Now's the time we need to go and turn the computer on and connect to it to set it up. Okay, so welcome to my desktop PC. This is directly connected to the new router via an ethernet cable. So what we need to do is open a browser, in this case I've got Chrome, you'll notice I haven't got an internet connection, and I need to go to the IP address 192.168.1.1, you'll see, if I hit enter, it opens up the login box for the new TP-Link router we've just installed, and it'll ask you to make a new password. So make your own password, make sure it's a secure one because people can get into your network if they know it. Great, and then click let's get started. First it's going to ask you to set your time zone, so in this case I'm going to go to United Kingdom, GMT, hit next. Then it's going to ask you for your ISP, it's going to default to BT, but I actually use TalkTalk, Talk. so I'll select TalkTalk Talk VDSL, VDSL is a fibre broadband, and I'll hit next. Interdiction can type, this will be probably dynamic, but it's based on your ISP, so talk, talk, don't allow anything else but dynamic. Next, it's going to ask you to set up your wireless network, so you can set up the 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz, or both. In this case, I'm going to do both, For so if you have devices that can only use 2.4, they can connect to that. It'll give you a default network SSID and password, but you can change that if you want, and then hit next. After a few seconds of testing the connection, it should come up with a congratulations, internet connected, enjoy the internet pop-up. Um, if it comes up with a, sorry, we can't connect to the internet, go back and double check your settings. If you've just randomly selected an ISP, try selecting other, and then typing in the credentials that your ISP has provided for you separately. TP-Link routers also provide some cloud services. You can share USB drives over the internet, that kind of thing. So you can log into your TP-Link account here if you want to do that. I won't go into that into this video, but you do that from here. So that's it. I hope it was really simple for you to follow. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions. I will try my hardest to help. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to set up USB sharing on this so you can plug a USB device into the back, share it on your network so it's accessible from TVs, uh, media sticks, that kind of thing. So hit subscribe to be notified of when that video comes out. And thank you for watching.